talk a little bit about low volume, low pressure paint guns. This is a low volume, low pressure paint gun. This is the YT-160. The unique thing about this gun is it doesn't require a lot of air to operate efficiently. So between four and five CFMs of air to operate efficiently and it lays down a beautiful looking clear coat base coat finish. I've used this gun for about a year in different variations. If you're working out of your garage with no paint booth, there's no better option than a low volume, low pressure paint gun. And this particular one has the lowest air consumption that I've been able to find. Typical paint guns consume about 10 CFM, 10 to 13 CFMs of air. And this at four to five is very low. And what that means is it's going to produce less overspray. It's going to use less materials. And you can also use this gun with a smaller compressor. So a 20 gallon compressor that produces about six CFMs of air is going to operate this gun efficiently. Now, those of you who have been watching the channel have seen me spray with these low volume, low pressure paint guns for the last couple years. And I'm a big fan of what they do for you especially if you're working out of your garage or at home. The YT-160 comes with the 1.3 cap and needle set, and I find that works really well for sealer, base, and clear coat. Now there are some larger needle sets available like a 1.5 and a 1.7. So what you get when you purchase this gun is you get the 600 milliliter hard cup right here. You're also gonna get three liners, three lids, and then you get this measuring cup, and this allows you to mix up your paint and when you're done, you dispose of the liners and the lids, and then you reuse the housing and this locking collar. Now these disposable cups are nice because they're gonna save you in materials. You don't have to worry about using a lot of thinner to clean out your hard cup. There's one other benefit to these, and I'll show you that in a minute, but let me show you how to use these cups. So if you have paint you're mixing up, typical paint mixes up two to one, so two parts paint, one part reducer. So what you do is find your two to one mixing ratio right here. I know this is two to one to one, but we're only gonna use the two and the one mixing ratio. We add the amount of paint that we want. So if we are add three parts of paint, we're gonna fill it up from the three to the coordinating three on the one ratio with reducer. So very easy to use, very simple to use. You would put a liner in here, fill it up with paint, you lock on the lid. And then what I like to do is I like to lift this up, make sure everything's sealed properly. And then you just take the locking collar, you twist this on, get it lined up here, twist it on. This will lock onto this gun and then you twist it and now you're ready to paint. Now, one other benefit to these disposable cups is before you start painting, you hook it up to air, you turn it upside down, spray it, and what it'll do is it'll draw all the air out of the liner so you can spray with this upside down. So with this kit, you also get the PPS adapter. This is a Series 1 PPS adapter, and sometimes these are a little hard to find, so it's nice that it comes included in this kit. You also get a small tool kit with a spanner wrench and a cleaning brush. Let me talk about how to set up this gun. This is your air pressure right here. I open this wide open because I'm gonna use an air regulator and a water trap on this gun and we'll regulate our air there. Now this is the fluid volume. This controls the amount of fluid and paint that comes out of the gun. This is your fan pattern. So if you dial this all the way in, you're gonna have a narrow fan pattern. When you open it all the way up, that's gonna give you a wider fan pattern and this fan pattern is 10 inches wide, which is pretty typical. So how I set my gun up for base and clear coat is I'll open my fan pattern all the way up. I'll turn my fluid volume all the way in, and then I'll open it three turns out from close. So I'll do one full turn, two full turns, three full turns. And that is usually pretty good for clear or base coat. Okay, we're gonna overlap 75%, consistent speed, consistent distance, and you know our gun settings. This YT-160 low volume, low pressure paint gun is really easy to use for beginners as long as you follow the proper tips and techniques that I give you in my videos. 
I've been painting cars for 30 years. I've used a lot of different guns from high dollar guns to inexpensive guns. If you're looking for a starter gun and you're working out of your garage without a booth and you're looking for something that's not going to break the bank, this is an inexpensive gun that produces a beautiful looking finish. If you want to learn more about paint and body repair and some of the spraying techniques you can use to get this type of finish, check out my YouTube channel and this video now. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time on Garage Noise.